Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about service health. Maybe you are wondering that in the pre previous lecture, we learned about Azure monitoring and now we jumped into the service health. So the major difference between the monitoring and the service health would be Azure monitoring is just for us, right? So we try to, you know, monitor all these and get the more information out of uh, these resources directly which are related to our resources. However, if there is an outage uh, within the Microsoft services, how do you know? So that should be an uh, interface that should uh, tell about what kind of services are going down or what kind of you know, services has, are impacted. So that's where the service health status comes. So it can track basically three different events that might impact your resources. So in the Azure monitoring, we talked about our resources, which are reconfigured. For example, uh, in this case, maybe in the Azure monitoring, we talked about like applications or resources, operating systems, all that. Now we're talking about in this lecture about the service health. The service health is a three different uh, things it would actually monitor. The first one would be the service uh, issues. Any problems that are coming within your Azure services that are affecting right now. For example, there could be some uh, region down or maybe a VM creation process down or maybe some data center down. Such things would be uh, which is going to uh, show you within the service status or service issues. Now, planned maintenance is anything which is uh, coming as a planned maintenance in the upcoming um, maintenance windows uh, within the Microsoft Azure that would come into the planned maintenance. Not just that, so anything in the future they are planning to take it down or depreciate, then it's gonna come up. And health advisory is, let's say you are running with the older version or the current version, but that has been you know upgraded to latest version. Let's take one of them would be the managed disks. Example, non-managed disk uh, you are using maybe, but everything has to be, uh, migrated to the new uh, method or non-managed non to manage disk example in that situation you are gonna get a advisory information saying that hey this is the health advisory you have to you know uh, because we are going to you know depreciate this specific uh, feature so just go for the new feature so that you need to you know uh, look for the migration path to stay tuned on the up-to-date with the Azure uh, services so that's one of the uh, health advisory you can get it that's a third one and also if any of the quota is exceeded because uh, we do have the resources limit uh, the number of subscriptions the number of uh, resource groups you can create the number of VMs there is a limit uh, definitely if you are reaching to that limit you are gonna get a advisory as a health advisory within the service health so within the service health you are gonna get these three different category of the service health information so let me show you what I'm trying to talk uh, by opening into the portal so if you just go to the uh, I wanted to show you there's a website uh, which is you know publicly available without uh, without a Microsoft uh, Azure portal access you can you know just open this uh, portal called uh, status.azure.com which would actually show you uh, for example if I just you know a refresh it's the last seven seconds back uh, what happened uh, within the uh, region called uh, America whatever the computing uh, resources are healthy or not or maybe developer tools for networking storage all the resources which are grouped up everything you know which will show you that if they are really working or not so if I just you know go up and look for here the good status indicates as a green tick the information warning and critical so in America everything looks good but the similar situation for everywhere looks good but now if you are looking for some kind of issues uh, within the within the Azure portal you wanted to view it then you need to you know go for Azure status just by clicking here or you can type actually here as service health within the search so that would actually open up this and you would be you know, getting the information if any of the data center or anything goes down you would be you know, getting here as the issues also here it will be listed as any of the errors let me give you very good information uh, from the existing uh, screenshots that I can show you from the documentation page for example uh, you can you can check out here 
uh, this is the service uh, health which you can you know, either search it and get it once you get into it you would be you know, getting here the three different action event uh, events one would be the service issues plan maintenance and health advice that's what we talked about it within the PPT like here you're getting the service issues planned maintenance and also the health advisory and also a security advisory which is in a preview at this point of time if you see here as your SQL VM um, service maintenance notification which is coming up within uh, this and it's gonna affect any of the resources if you have anything was created is gonna you know, tell you that hey you're gonna get your this specific SQL instance might be you know go down or might impact it with more latency or such kind of you know information you would be you know getting it and uh, when this uh, is planned you are you know getting it so the registration process will happen between 22 so here and it will not cause any downtime but prior to that it's going to affect it any of the VMs so such kind of you know, information you would be you know, getting uh, very clearly and more focused so that you know that you can move it or you can plan during the time uh, like a for the higher availability by filling back to other other regions uh, such information you can you know configure it so this is going to affect for the us too and if you can look at here more um, with this you are actually getting under service issues so this specific uh, VM that's operations of operate operations specific Splunk 03 VM is going to have impacted so with the higher information if you just you know drill down further you might be you know getting that here it says that hey it's going to impact it because of the latency issues within that specific region uh, which is west us so you can you know get the support directly from microsoft if you really need it uh, to you know uh, overcome this kind of you know issues you can simply raise a ticket and fix that so that's all about uh, specific to the monitoring and service health specific and uh, any issues that uh, you want to you know monitor uh, it would be you know, coming back here and based on that you can um, get more information Let, let's see if I have your three of the different issues were in already reported and they were in a fixed state and that mitigation all that steps are completely available here with along with the proper update and the that's what you know you would be you know, getting this is how so if you worked with the office 365 uh, you would be you know, getting the similar kind of you know, updates they also so these are uh, very similar to that so here the planned maintenance still we have one issue and um, which is gonna address for us in case of if anything goes on wrong you might have to you know look into this so this service health talks about Microsoft Azure or uh, services specific and you need to know or differentiate that if anything is specific to your resources then uh, we should be you know, talking about monitoring our own resources or network traffic or security concerns then it would be Azure monitoring for application uh, specific things other things can be monitored from the Azure monitoring and the service health is specific to the Microsoft all the data centers I hope I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching